that's winners and losers. We're talking to our financial expert, Rob Black. We'll start with the U.S. economy and uh, the GDP, which is the growth of our economy, revised upward, 2.1% annualized. And we've been limping along that way, it seems. It's not horrible considering where we were with the Great Recession. No? It was first estimated 1.5%, right. and you're right, 2% is limping along. Yeah. It's not a great number, but it's a good number. It's very... Um, What's the word? Uh, Goldilocksian. So it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's on the cooler side, so it's not great. Um, but consumer spending was a big up 3%. Businesses are kind of holding back on business investments, um, and that sh eventually will, will lead to business investments, you know, on new computers and equipment. Uh, but the consumer's hanging in there, and that's nice to see. Businesses are pulling back. And our fourth quarter should be a nice quarter, so no recession in sight. Recession is two straight quarters of GDP under 0%. Um, anything under 1%, I'd be like, whoa, we've got something to watch out on. This, yeah. is, this is setting us up for more sideways action on Wall Street, but nothing great. Does it point out, though, also, that if you don't get a 2% raise every year, you're kind of mm -hmm. not keep, you're actually your salary shrinking in a way, right? Yeah, it, let's not compare GDP GPA to inflation. To inflation. Okay. Uh, let's compare consumer price inflation okay. to wage inflation. And so where are we with that, with consumer price inflation? Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, because of so gas. Gas is lower. We'll talk a little bit about Thanksgiving. Okay. And some of the costs are lower on food. Yeah. So Let's go to that story right now, in fact, about Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> it is costing more this year. And that's an inflationary sign, I guess you could say. Yeah, turkey costs are up 6% year over year. Okay. We have the big avian bird flu, yeah. so that's hurting the cost of the turkey. Um, so a 26 pound uh, a bird is, you know, considerably more expensive. A 16 pound turkey is $23.04. That's up about a buck 39 year over year. This is the first time that feeding a family of 10 is over $50. But the good news is that's up about 2% year over year. It's really kind of sideways for the last five years, where it's only gone up 2% over five years. So there's not a lot of consumer price inflation inside of this. Um, so all things considered, it's not bad. Um, there were some production ties towards, the, again, the pathogen of, you know, bird flu in the Midwest, but it didn't turn out so bad. And uh, cost of rolls a little more expensive, cost of stuffing a little more expensive, okay. but some items went down. Okay, and back to Google now. So Google's yep. kind of interesting, you know, when you get Google Mortgage, they're actually, they're, they're licensed mortgage lender now in California. Yeah, <laughs> um, they're not they're not lending yet. Right. They're showing information from other lenders so that you can do a price comparison. They will get into the lending business at some point. This is what the story is telling you. They've expanded their fleet of financial services this week. They're going to let home buyers use uh, their site to compare and contrast mortgages. This is good. Um, the internet changed, you know, music. It changed movies. It changed television. It changed a lot of industries. It brought down the cost of trading on Wall Street. Uh, why not bring down the cost of a mortgage and let people see what else is out there? It's a little bit scary because a mortgage is like, in the Bay Area, it's a $600,000 tool. So you don't want to just go with the lowest cost one until you read the details and figure out what the costs are. And if, for instance, if you're 25 years old, you probably only need a seven-year mortgage instead of a 30-year mortgage because you're probably going to be moving. So it's not going to be a perfect tool, but it's definitely going to start bringing the cost down. All right, we're going to have to save our question for tomorrow because we're out of time. But if you do have a question for Rob, if you post your questions on his Facebook page, we'll try and answer them on the air here on Cron 4. We'll be right back.